hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where i get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been on today's video we are going to show you how to convert rasters to polygons right good now you might be thinking is it i'm actually digitizing or something might not really be no it is not now in um, gis when they say polygonized because that's the word for it it refers to the process of converting raster data or other um, vector data types into polygons right good now this operation is commonly used when you want to represent a continuous or maybe categorial information as polygon features with um, distinct boundaries now there is um, a brief um, description of what the process is all about now let's um, come to um, QGIS we have um, a data here it's actually land use land cover data and then we have actually classified it into three classes now the idea is that we want to convert this raster data into what a vector data by using each of these classes now let's come back to the note um there's a part of the note that says okay when you polygonize the raster you take a raster data set which consists of cells or pixels with different values and create polygons that enclose areas of continuous cells with the same values right good so now coming back to this you know each of these classes are having what they are continuous cells that are having the same values right good so that's what um, the polygonizing will do for us now there are different methods you can use the first one i think um, is to use them um, this um, raster layer unit um, raster layer unique values report right good however we are not going to use that we are going to use a tool under raster that is called um, raster to vector right good that's called raster to vector that is a polygonize now um, when you open the polygonize to the input will definitely be the raster data default band number one and then we have what the name of the field to create now this dn is the digital number we actually have a note the dn in a raster image or like, yeah the dns in a raster image are used to represent the various type of information depending on the type of sensor right good so now in this case we are working with what a land use maybe land cover and then we have actually classified it into three classes right good thing the classes are built up area maybe wetland and stream or whatever the case is depending on what you have so that's what this dn means now for the output we can decide to save it to a file or we would leave it as what a temporary layer but um, for the purpose of today's video let's just leave it as a temporary layer and then let's run good so we have what the polygons are out the first thing i would want us to do is to come up to the properties and then go to symbology and then use them um, categorize symbology then um, we are going to select the digital number because those are the numbers that are having the unique identifiers right good then we are now going to classify it based on what good so when we apply that we are going to have something different right so having done that we can decide to close this out then use this drop down let's take out this um, unclassified and then we have what the set of classified what rasters right good that have been converted to vectors so each of these vectors you can put them off put them on you know and you can perform different um, vector analysis you want to do with it first off let's look at the attribute table now on our attribute table you can see we have a total of um, 254 features and then the digital numbers are there as we've told you the unique numbers they are used to represent the various type of information depending on the type of sensor right good we also told you that um, when you polygonize the raster you take a raster data set which consists of cells or pixels with different values and create polygons that enclose areas of continuous cells with the same value now this is the emphasis with the same value so when you come back to this attribute table and then okay before we get to the attribute table, let, let me come back here let's say we want to look at um, the first class we right click and then we say we select all the features now all the features in the first class have been selected right now when we come back to the attribute table we are going to see that as they are selected they are all having the same digital number as one so if we say show only selected feature you are going to see that 
all the selected features are having on digital number one right good so now with this you can decide to calculate the area of what these um particular class right good of this particular class because in the land use land cover we have classified them into about three classes we don't also need this one because it does not have a value we just have these three so we can calculate the total area of this class same thing let's um deselect all we can also right click on this and you know select all coming back to our attribute table we are going to see that what the digital number two are all selected now before we um end today's um tutorial let's deselect all then let's come back to okay the attribute table is already open now under the attribute table okay let's change this to show all features good now we want to create a new field that will calculate the areas right good so we come back to open um field calculator let's give it a name let's say area right good then we search for the the function is what dollar sign area right good so that's it so this will now help us populate this field with the areas of what each of these what of these um digital numbers right good so we click on okay it's actually a temporary field because we have not saved the vector data out but maybe when you want to do something productive ensure you save it we've created an extra field that calculates or that has calculated the area so if we come back to the map and then we select let's say for the third class we select all the features now all the features have been selected if we come back to our attribute table we can rightly see them then we can still come down to show features show only selected features so now if you add up the areas you have here if you have the sum of the areas you have here they are actually approximately if not all equal to what the area of this class when you use this other tool for this um, raster layer unique values report right good when you use this tool for calculating the areas of each of the classified values so in today's video we have shown you how to polygonize your your raster data to polygons right because that's actually the the phrase there polygonize right good raster to vector we've shown you how to do that and then we've also shown you how to calculate the area of what all of the cells that yeah of all of the digital numbers that are produced of all of the cells that are produced right good so with this you can now have a picture when you sum all of them up you can now have a value for the area covered by each of the independent word classes and we also have a note here that gave you a brief rundown thinking we are going to copy this and paste it on the description section of this video perhaps you will read it alongside what watching the video so that you have a a better understanding of what we have done so thanks for coming to class we hope we provided solution to this um, particular survey remote sensing related problem we are going to see you on our next video ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye